Good morning, Bujo Bandits. T-G-I-T. It's about to be March, and I wanted to do a quick before the pen for March. I am doing an experiment in March in which I'm going to try to work completely out of my bullet journal instead of using Google Calendar. Usually I just use my bullet journal for tasks, and, and, and then I'll use the monthly log the way Ryder uses his monthly log to, to, to log things after they happen, sort of like as memories. But I've noticed that even in just doing that, you can see that my monthly fills up very quickly. I, I have a lot going on. So, uh, you know, I didn't run out of room for February, but it got close. So I decided to do, uh, you know, make something a little bigger, make something a little more minimalist for March so that I can uh, see what it's like working completely independent of Google Calendar. I am totally intimidated by this and uh, pretty nervous. I'm trying to put my, you know, my faith in the bullet journal system that things aren't gonna fall through the cracks, but I think it's gonna work out pretty good. I just wanted to show you my, you know, you, like I said, before the pen, here is my uh, favorite monthly spread, uh, no particular name. Much thanks to uh, Smitha SP for her idea on this design. So my monthly calendar, I say so, so much. It's ridiculous. My favorite month, let's not say so again in this video. Let's try, here we go. My favorite, my, my monthly calendar is gonna be in this left column. There's four columns on the spread. Left column is the monthly calendar. And for each day of the month, you've got space to put uh, letters. And then you can put those letters over here next to events that would go on to that day. And this column here is for daily habit tracking. I decided not to draw in all the little boxes in order to be a little more minimalist. I also cut down to four habits now. I think these two go together. So my star day only requires the four. And then on this little column here is a place to put letters for weekly tasks. So each week has like four boxes where you can put uh, weekly tasks in there that don't have a particular day. And then these boxes are for my weekly habits uh, that I want to get done. And I put little dots above each letter to show how many times I want to do each one. And I might just use dots in these boxes to show it. Now, because as I showed you before, my monthly, when I was just using tasks, almost completely filled a full spread, I decided that I was probably going to need lots of space. So I gave myself an entire extra spread of places to uh, log things. And I think that doing a vertical calendar like Smitha has done is better than doing one horizontal when it comes to having to reference like this throughout the month. And then lastly, I wanted to change the future log because another thing I noticed when I decided to go full Bujo, uh, <laughs> that sounds funny, is that the future log, the Alistair method kind of failed me a little bit. Part of it is, honestly, I think the writer Carol method of just three boxes on each page might have actually worked out better, maybe if I put columns in them. But the problem is, is if I've really put everything in that I have, I wrecked, I broke, I broke the Alistair method. Because here, here's March. I just started putting in everything for March, including all the, you know, events and appointments and stuff. And it just, it shot right through an entire page. So instead of doing three months per page, I wanted to do something similar to my favorite monthly spread with no particular name and make it so that the future log is unlimited in, in its space and, and where you can put things. I mean, not unlimited, but I mean, you get the idea. So what I did was I made a future log that has just this one column. So it's got a total of eight columns of future log. And you can just put any month you want in this column. It doesn't matter what month. It could be 8 for August. It could be 12 for December. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to, when it comes to the end of a month when I'm making a new monthly spread, I'm going to scan my future log. Uh, if, if having to just scan a couple extra columns means that I have as much space as I need for any month or, or as, as little space as I need for every month, then that's good. That means that I'm less likely to run out of space. And I'm just a huge fan of using two columns on each page because I think it, it does a much better job of utilizing the space that's available. And then just dirty dailies. I'm gonna do dirty dailies throughout, like I, like I always do for, uh, for you know, daily tracking stuff. I've got, you know, this is, my little, this is my little panic tracker. Anytime during the day that I'm like, oh God, oh God, then I, I put a little, <laughs> put a little line in that box. So, you know, Sunday's mellow. Monday, oh, what am I doing? Those are, that's what that means. So that's my plan. I'm going to, you know, keep track of how I said so. I probably said so a bunch of times since I said I wasn't going to say it, didn't I? Sad. Anyways, uh, that's that's the plan. I, I'll, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll keep you up to date. It's kind of exciting to try something new. 
and uh, see, you know, put, put the system to the test and see if it's going to uh, be what I need, uh, be what I need it to be. So uh, thanks for letting me babble on and I'll, I'll see you guys later.